Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at eDraw Max Pro. This is a cross-platform diagram software. Whether you're using it for personal or professional use, you can create flowcharts, mind maps, network diagrams, floor plans, and more easily without any drawing skills required. All the tools are provided, templates and layouts all included in eDraw Max. And using our link down below in the video description, you can go ahead and save 10% off your purchase. With that, let's jump right into it. So here we are in the eDraw app, and you can see it presents a really clean and simple user interface. Very familiar if you use Windows apps in general, such as Office, it kind of adapts that same user interface here. So you can navigate through the tabs in the top left. You have your workspace area in the center here. Um, and of course, like I mentioned, this diagramming software comes with a whole bunch of different templates, over 200 plus templates that you can use to get started. So whether it's a basic diagram, a business diagram that you want to create, um, floor plans and more. So I just want to actually go through and select some of these just to show you some examples here. So here's like a home plan. Let's say you want to like map something out. You can use this as an example. So in this case, we have this floor plan and then we go ahead and scroll here so we can go ahead and just center it here. Uh, you have your options in the left here. So you have your libraries. And since we selected a specific template, it already knows which one we're looking for. So it knows that this is all about the house. So if you're trying to design a new house, you can simply just drag and drop these elements into your canvas and start working with them. Super simple, super easy. You have the ability, of course, to easily change colors here on your color uh, fills at the very bottom. So if I want to make this outline black, I can do that. You can see you can adjust other tools. So you can adjust the line tools. You can adjust the transparency of the lines, the dash type, just kind of presets around the line. Um, of course, like I said, you can change the uh, other options here. Like if you want a shadow, if you want to add a picture in there, um, the properties of the overall element in this case, so the thickness, you can change that to like 100 millimeters if you wanted to do that to make the lens a little thinner. Um, and all sorts of other options that you can go into here. Add attachments, add comments, really useful for like, let's say you're gonna be sending this template to somebody else, like an architect or whatever. You can add little notes in here to kind of get a rough idea. You can add other things like a door here and you can see it auto aligns and auto snaps to the appropriate, you know, if you drag it up here. So it's, you know, really really simple to use and at the same time it it doesn't require like a free hand you don't need to be drawing freehand or anything like that that's why i said it doesn't require any like drawing skills again you can set a bathroom here so you can just really kind of create the own template depending on what you want to go ahead and you know design and lay out here of course you can go into the other tabs here you have the home tab to allow you to jump between certain, uh, certain tools so i can jump to like the text tool here and add text um, there's the connector tool if you want to connect certain points or elements or lines. Of course, if you do want to free draw, if you want to add certain elements and manually take over, that is also an option here. You can add your own lines uh, and add to your own you know, template and just add on whatever it is that you may be creating. They have the rectangle tool, circle tool, oval tools, all of that for you to go ahead and create your document there. You have the ability to insert stuff. So you can insert tables, you can insert pictures, font symbols. Um, you have a page layout here, so if you want to adjust the page layout, you can easily do that. Things like the orientation of the page, the unit, page number, uh, line jump. So really useful if you're going to be like, let's say, for example, you're going to be printing this out and you want to make sure it fits on the paper, you can go ahead and adjust the page layout there. Um, you can adjust your overall view. So if you want to see the normal view, background view, um, you can adjust so you don't see the rulers or guidelines there if you don't want these little uh, elements within the canvas there. Symbols allow you to add other things. So you have the free draw tools, like I mentioned, pen tools, pencil tools. You can move or add anchor points, which is really useful too. So if you want to add like little anchor points here, you can go ahead and use the tool here to do that. Um, all sorts of other drawing tools within eDraw, obviously. Now, this is just an example with a floor plan, but what I want to go here is showcase a couple other examples. For example, uh, we have the ability to also showcase, let's go ahead and go with a Let's go with a flow chart actually. So like a flow chart is another popular example. You can see they have a lot of great templates here for you to use. They have some pre-built ones if you don't want to use like the default, just, you know, if you're making a basic flow chart. So for example, they have an e-commerce flow chart that shows a really great use case here of how a flow chart can be made. So this one is e-commerce trusty service flow chart. You can see it goes from negotiate to setting goals, signing the agreements, and then going down to put forward strategies. And you can see all of these you know, elements can be added onto or edited as you see fit. You can add other basic flowchart shapes in there. So if you wanted to add this like Terminator tool. Again, what I really like about this, everything is so easily adjustable. You can really just drop things in. You can see how easy it is when you move in any object, you can see it automatically aligns with the different objects around it. So you can really make your charts look elegant. You can 
easily just manipulate them here. You can see you can adjust the size of it. Um, you can move and add another element above it or attach to it. So in the case of a flow chart where you're having things branch off of each other, if I want to add an element to the right, I click on that right arrow and there it adds another you know, element right there and automatically draws a line to it as I move the object around. So again, it's, it's aware of what we have added. It's aware of the elements attached to it and automatically adjust based on that. Again, if I want to make my own custom flow chart, I can go with basic flow chart here. I get the same tools here so I can, you know, have this, you know, cause or whatever it is, you know, cause one, and that would, you know, correlate to different uh, objects that I add on here. I can, you know, change the elements, add on different elements here and connect them as I see fit. You can see within that, as I open different projects, I can manage those all via this tab interface, which is really great because if you're working on multiple projects, if you're bouncing between different charts, you can easily just jump right here between them or close out as you see fit. Um, some other templates, again, just to kind of go over some other things that they offer here. Uh, infographic is another really popular one here. So if you're creating like an infographic for your website, you can see they have some really great ones or maybe you're sending it out in a newsletter. So you can go to my infographics one just to showcase an example here. And this one is really, really nice here. And I'm going to go ahead and expand the app a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Um, you can see this one just shows some charts here. You have the top, the title. And everything in these templates are editable. And every, everything you see in a template, you can obviously create on your own. So this is just an example. If you were going to send out like an infographic in a newsletter, eDraw allows you to make that. And you can use the you know templates that they already have predefined for you. Or you can just go ahead and go for a basic blank template. Let's say you want to make an educational um, you know, infographic. You can use like elements like books. So I can have a book here. And then let's go back up here and use something like, you know, let's go ahead and go to home and draw a text. And I can say like, you know, education statistics. So let's say I was trying to make a infographic on education statistics. And again, you have all the tools that you would commonly have. You have the ability to, you know, add and um, edit the text here. So I can use this and I can line it up. See how that allows me to line it up with the infographic there. Um, and then you can see I can go down and they have these different categories. So they have like icon packs, infographic charts. So if I want to use like a bar chart, I can drag that in and put this over here. And then if you double click that, you can, you know, edit these different numbers here, properties based on the um, thing that I'm trying to edit in this case, uh, the graph here. Um, I can add a pie chart and again, edit the properties as needed. They have all sorts of different great stuff to make very, very, you know, intuitive and visually appealing. Obviously I can adjust this right here if I wanted to. So again, this is just a very rough example of a template I'm making, but they have all sorts of different ones that you can draw from here. Uh, education infographic here, for example, here's one on environment protection. And you can see all these elements are made from things that are within eDraw that you can easily add. You can see here, all these elements are stuff that you can copy, move over. You can use the basic template or the background for your own information that you want to plug in, whether it's for a project for school or something that you're uploading to your website and sending out. It really is up to you. You have all these sorts of tools, like I mentioned, available, the views, the symbols, page layout, uh, all easily there for you to go ahead and adjust and make the diagram that you see fit. So whether you are making infographics, maybe you want to make, again, a mind map. That's something that's very popular as well that they have here. So you have a mind map, you have one basic idea, and then you have all these little um, things around it, the same concept here. You can add on different things here. So I can edit this. I can bring... This is the front. I can add a hyperlink to it, insert notes. Um, let's go ahead and add another block here. If I want to add this block and then I can, you know, add this text block here. Um, we can go ahead and create a basic mind map here. So the main idea, let's say how do, you know, or like let's say video ideas, for example. So I have video ideas and then, you know, the, the basic idea of a mind map is you can just start branching out uh, around here so I can have the main topic. So Let's say, actually, let me go ahead and delete that. Let me go ahead and remake that so it's attached. And I can say YouTube video ideas or whatever. And, you know, you would just kind of scale from here. Uh, I can continue to make a uh, little chart here. I can go ahead and use subtopics. If I want to attach it to something, you can say I just drag it, hover it over the thing I want to attach it to. In this case, the YouTube video ideas would be a subtopic. And then I would just or YouTube video ideas, I want subtopics within those. I might have things like um, long form videos and then, you know, ones for short form videos. I can just keep on dragging on to these different subtopics and then adjusting them as I see fit. So again, really easy, um, really, really great interface for you to kind of just go around and easily edit your charts, make whatever it is, mind maps, 
um, flow charts, floor plans. They have a ton, over 200 plus templates for you to use. Again, really great ways to go ahead and make that diagram simple, easy, and effective uh, with eDraw Max. That all said, be sure to click on our link down below to try and or buy eDraw Max. There are three license types you can get out there. There's Perpetual License, which allows you to use the software indefinitely with free upgrades for up to three years. There is the subscription model, which allows you one year of use and upgrade. And then last but not least, there's the lifetime license, which is perpetual use. You use it and pay once and you get it for a lifetime. Uh, personally, recommend checking out the lifetime license, obviously, since it's a one-time payment uh, and that's all you have to worry about. Otherwise, you can go ahead and check out the perpetual license as well. Uh, of course, using our link down below, you will get a 10% off coupon code. Uh, and of course, all purchases are secured and protected via the HTTPS protocol. So for all your diagramming needs, be sure to check out eDraw Max.